<laughs> Who's ready for a trim? Wow, I am a highlighter today. And I'm gonna highlight some Amazon motion. Oh, that's so cringy. Ah, that was a weak dad joke. But we're here to experience and test out a whole bunch of Amazon's most wished for products within the sort of beauty world. If you missed any of the videos in the series, I will link them at the end of the video. And we got some interesting ones today. Today's video is sponsored by a brand that I love so much. I've worked with so many times and that is Blue Land. I won't ever stop talking about Blue Land. You can't make me. For those of you that might be unfamiliar with Blue Land, they create these fantastic cleaning products. And what they do is they have what they call their forever bottles. And then you buy these refillable tablets that you can use, add them to your bottle with water, and then you kind of keep reusing this over and over, hence forever bottles. I find all of their tablets to smell incredible. All of the products that I have tested work incredibly well. They're sourced from clean ingredients and all of Blue Land's products are EPA Safer Choice certified. So that means that an EPA scientist has kind of examined all of the ingredients so that they pass the Safer Choice certified sort of stringent guidelines. They don't use any single use plastic and any of their stuff from their bottles, the caps, the packaging of the products when you receive them. So like this is a refill of the hand soaps that I got. So everything is recyclable. You just need one tablet per bottle, regardless of what bottle or product you're using and it starts at $225 per refill US. So it oftentimes is a much more affordable option. It's super easy to refill. I'm actually gonna go around my house because I know one of my bottles is running low. These are the ones that I just have stored upstairs. I love these things. So all you need to do is you need to fill the forever bottle with warm to hot water. I personally prefer hotter. Drop one of the tablets into the water and wait until it's fully dissolved. Should be in a couple of minutes before putting the nozzle back on. And you don't need to shake or stir it. It's easy peasy. So if you wanna get 15% off your first kit, just click on the link down below. I'll put it in the info bar and you can go and check them out for yourself. I hope you love them as much as I do. Big thanks to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. And now let's dive into some Amazon products. And we're gonna start with my hair because I am getting tired of looking at how flat it is. Typically what I'll do is I'll like back comb it underneath a bit and like kind of like floof it mostly in like this general area. Just give it a little, you know? But I didn't because I want to test out this product that came across my um, most wished for list. And that is volume, volume, volume. I don't know. It's like a straight iron but it has this little checker pattern here so you put it on instead of on top you put it under a layer and like click it down and it's gonna like poof up your hair apparently without any sort of teasing. Designed for longer, thicker hair and those who want longer, thicker hair. Longer? Not sure I'm following you, volume. Volume. I don't know why but I really enjoy your name. For those who want maximum you jazzed about this. Okay. Oh they got a whole bunch of accessories. I really didn't mean to toss that so dramatically. Oh, it has a little lock and unlock. I don't think I've ever seen that on a straightening iron before. Have you? Have you seen that before? Huh. All right. So it's a lot um, thinner than I thought it was gonna be, which is good. I thought it was gonna be, for whatever reason, like a lot thicker. It just looks like it's a lot thicker. Goodness, I'm just tossing everything today. Chill out, Rachel. Okay, I think I got it. So I can change the temperature, which is good. We're gonna do a couple of different layers and I'm gonna do it on one side and not on the other. And we're gonna see what kind of a difference we're gonna make here. Cause I want it to be voluminous, but I don't want it to be poofy. There's a line volume. We're not gonna cross it today. Fine, thin, or damaged hair, 300 to 340. Yep, that's what we're doing today. For sure there, buddy. So what's in the packaging? If I can get it out of here. Why is this so difficult? There, jeez. So we have some hair clips, three to be exact, and then a little teasing comb, but like with the, I don't know what they call it. They call it like a rat tail, I think, on the other side. I feel like that's wrong, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Little sword, little lance on the one end. Your hair lance. Okay, so it says to section the first part, just get it out of here. Made sure to be very clear, this section will not be touched. Got it, that is important information. Ugh. Now, oh, it's already up to temperature, perfect. I need to get um, heat protectant. That's what I was looking for. Trying to be so good with my hair, guys. And okay, um, I wanna be very precise about where I'm doing this because I don't want it up at the top poofing out. I want it from like here. This is sort of, this is the window. And I don't want the very front. We got our section here. Never pull the volume through your hair. Volume. Common mistake is clamping it for longer than is required. A quick snap and release is all that's needed. Snap and release. Like a dance step from the 90s. Okay, where do I want this? I want it here. Snap and release. Snap and release. Oh, that is so pretty, she said. You know, like a liar. Snap. 
It is more voluminous. I see that. I see it now. It's like a crimp, but bad. Boy, am I excited though. It looks like it's hairspray, but I swear it's just heat protectant. I don't want anyone spraying hairspray and then putting heat on their head. Snap and release. <laughs> I was gonna say that <laughs> over and over. All right, and then how many sections do you want me to do? It's showing me three sections. Basically just this little chunk right here. That's all you get, volume. Okay, drum roll, please. Okay. That's what we got. It did do what it said it was gonna do. There is more volume on this side than on this side. For sure there is. Now I can see, do you see that? You can see, th okay, so you have to be very careful. Do not do what they did where they go like straight towards the center. Cause like as soon as that moves, like look at that. But now I'm mad cause you can kind of see it on the, on the top there. That's annoying. So if you have fine hair, start a lot lower than you think. Cause like you can see that, oh, that's so ugly. Okay. <sighs> the other thing I don't like is that personally, I would love to um, put some down here as well and give this a little bit of an extra like floof up too, you know? But I can't because if I do that, you're definitely gonna be able to tell. I appreciate some good volume, but I want the volume to feel authentic. So I'd wanna like do a little bit of teasing here just to make it feel more balanced. You know what? Let's just, for the sake of argument, do the other side and I'm gonna take into account some of the things that I learned along the way. Cause like technically, technically it did, it did give me some more volume. Just not enough for me. Or maybe it's just that I'm annoyed that I can only see it on one side. Maybe that's it. Okay, let's do the other side and then we'll see. Okay, is this side better? I feel like that's better. Right? This side is looking real messy. Smooth that out a bit. All right, so this side is a little bit more rounded here. Which side do you like better or do you just hate both of them? Let me know in the comments. Because now we're gonna do something that I have been meaning to buy one of these for so long, but they get so expensive and you typically have to go and get them like custom made. And um, I don't wanna do that. And it's another hair thing. It was super inexpensive and it's one of those hair halos. It's basically kind of like a, like a headband of hair instead of the clip-ins because as you can see with the volume, you can see pretty much anywhere through my hair. It's just, it's inevitable, it's gonna happen. And so clip-ons typically look really terrible on me because anytime I move my hair at all, you can just see like a little like clip like sticking out and you're like, hey, what's up? This is supposed to be a lot more seamless and just blend in a lot easier. So I took a gamble on a color. It looks like it'll be like an okay match. Ooh, got a little comb in here. All right, okay, so let's get it out of its net here. Okay, this is like really a big struggle today. Okay, there we go, goodness. All right, so basically it looks like this. First of all, let's see the hair in terms of color. Oh, come on. I am so excited that matches almost like perfectly. That has never happened to me before. I am typically pretty horrendous at picking shades. So, ooh, I can use my volume. Clips. Basically, it's my understanding that you take sort of he here and back. How far out? They have instructions, but they're very small. And then we're gonna clip that up. And then you put this guy down. Oh, gotta move this hair. Ooh, I can adjust this too. I think I need to make it a little bit looser. Okay, let's try that. This works, I am going to freak out. You know what, I'm just gonna, let me just test it first. Okay. Okay, this is not, this is not cute right now. <laughs> okay, okay, we need, we need some, we need some work. Let's just try that one more time. My first time, give me a break. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, but hold on, like, hear me out. What if it was shorter and it was just for, um, like volume? Would that be bad? I feel like there's only one way to find out though, because like this, like this isn't cute, but what if it was like this, huh? Right? That could work, that could work. Okay, hold on, we need to try this. <laughs> Who's ready for a trim? I honestly thought I would have done this in 2020. Turns out 2023 is my time. Okay, you know what? Actually, you know what? Let, let me just set it exactly how I want it first. Get my hair out of the way. Oh man, I can see why people do that. That's really satisfying. Okay, the curl, I need to fix that. That's fine, That I can fix that. It's not great, but like it's better though, right? I'll fix that, I'll fix it. Also, if you're cringing at this and you're a hairstylist, can you please keep your cringing to yourself, please? I just, I don't need that. I don't just don't need that in my life. Mm, that's about it even. 
You can't tell me that's not immediately better. Probably not even at all in the back, but whatever. Okay, hang on while I fix these ends and then I need to go show Chris and Lo. Oh, I forgot to show everyone the back. This is what it looks like. I don't know. Does it look okay? I have no idea. I can't see. I think it looks okay. What do you guys think of my hair? It looks like more. It does look like more. Does it look like more? Yeah. yeah. Do you see where? Like underneath? Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> you look like my sisters. With like the thickness of yeah, the hair? Yeah, with like a lot of hair. A lot of hair. I yeah. don't think that was a problem. <laughs> this one over here. From across the room, I couldn't tell. I was like, oh, you look great. Thanks, girl. Those are really good extensions. I should have chopped it more here, but I'm not an expert. So it's slightly longer. It's here. too long and it like doesn't blend fully, but yeah. this is the little yeah. bandit thing. It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Classic. Like, you wouldn't even notice, but like, yeah, it's a little bit shiny, so that that's the one thing. Like, maybe if you put some matte eyeshadow on it, maybe, I don't know. But I need it to be, like, cut properly. Yeah, really 2000s it up. Why don't you just mark it with, like, a piece of chalk or something where you want it cut, and then take it out and cut it off yeah. your head so later on here. Lauren is so full of, like, just brilliant ideas. That is exactly what I'm going to do. How sturdy is it? Like it's not, it's not moving. If I did a cartwheel, it would fall off for okay. sure. It's not like one of those like professional ones or whatever, but. but you could like bend down and put something <laughs> on the floor. And, like, Don't say prove it low. The hair halos are where it's at for like fine haired people. And that hair does look fine. Oh, thanks girl. Is this like professional grade? No. Did I do a professional job on my haircut? Absolutely. <laughs> I will do what Lauren said and like, chop it properly for like a hack job. That's not bad. I feel very hairful, but like it isn't the most top notch quality, but the hair color matches really well. It feels nice and smooth and you can use heat on it apparently. So that's a win. Ooh, do I keep this on while we keep talking? I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of yikes, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. We're gonna pretend it looks amazing. Oh, this is just reminding me I need to get my hair cut. I just, I'm not, a long haired girl. I just am not. Okay, so the next, you know what? We're gonna step away from the hair products for a little bit and we're gonna go on to the next thing. And that is this gorgeous looking tray that I found that you can put all of your like jewelry and things in or you, I'm sure you could use it for keys and things in the front door. But it was so pretty and it reminded me of a bunch of videos that I actually seen on TikTok talking about this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, it's this little cloud. Stop, tell me that is not adorable. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is everything. It's like a really nice cream tone too. It's not like stark white, but it's not too beigey either. I don't know. Okay, let's put some like, let's put some stuff in this. Now, obviously you can see my little tree of jewelry already has the thing on the bottom, but maybe you don't. Let's pull out some of my favorites. Forgot I don't have the other one for this one. Ooh, I should tell you where each of them are from. These are from Amazon. Dynamite, Amazon, Etsy. A small business though, I forget the name of it. I will go and find it. And then Majori. Those are some of my favorites. I think that's really pretty and really cute. Very aesthetic. It feels nice and sturdy. I don't know anything about like, will the paint chip off immediately if you're storing with a bunch of jewelry and stuff in here? I don't know. But in terms of aesthetic, I think it's very cute. Moving right along onto shoes. These ones I've seen on a most wish for list for a while now, because sometimes there's consistency with a bunch of products always staying on the most wish for list. You can tell I look at it a lot. And they are these ones from Steve Madden. First of all, they are humongous. Why are they so big? They almost, whoa, whoa, excuse me, hi. Don't run away when I'm talking about running shoes. They almost look like a bowling shoe from here. Is that just me? It might be just me. I've been trying, I feel like I'm so far away from you. I've been trying for a while now to up my fitness game. I know, I feel like it's time. So I've been doing more walks and I have been doing Pilates, which has been really good for like my back. I don't like it though. I'm just gonna come in here. I don't like it. I'm doing it because it's the right thing to do, not because I want want to be doing it. So my thinking in my brain was that if I had cute walking shoes, maybe I would feel like going on more walks. That's how my brain works. But I wanna see if they're comfortable because the shoes that I live in, now these are more expensive, but oh my goodness. I cannot recommend these shoes enough to like literally anyone I talk to. They are the New Balance ones. These guys right here, these are my indoor shoes for walking around, walking on a literal cloud. Truly, when I take them off, especially at the beginning, obviously I've been wearing these for a while, but like at the beginning, it felt like getting off of a trampoline. That's the level of comfort you get. I cannot recommend these shoes 
enough. However, they're expensive, so maybe this is a good alternative. Let's put them on. Oh man, they're looking so dad with the scrunchy, <laughs> the scrunchy sock. I'm trying to decide if I want to like have the, the laces out or in. Do you like laces out or in? Let me know. Let's see what they look like with the laces out. Cool, getting full dad here. That is a dad shoe. Okay, hold on, let me get the other one on. Okay, so they aren't, um, they aren't super supportive. They weirdly have a bit of cushion like at the back, but not the rest of it. It almost feels like, you know, those bouncy ramps that they have, like those, you know? It feels like that at the back on the heel of the foot. I really wanted to like these, I did, but they're looking a little too bowling shoe for me. And like, don't get me wrong, I love a good dad shoe. They're just not dadding enough for me. There and no. Now for a dress on everyone's wish list. This one has been on for a while now. Super cute. Very Pinteresty, kind of summery. So I figured we'd try it on and see if it's actually worth it. Ooh, very soft. I love the color though. It does come in like a variety of colors. Good weight to it too. I don't know. Let's try it on. Okay, so I put it on and I was like, ooh, this is like really comfortable. Like I can see myself, I don't know, just like running errands and like walking around in this. Cause like, again, it's like, by the way, do you love the fact that I did not tang my legs? Listen, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Imagine if you will that I match, but there was literal snow, it's literal snow. So, okay, let me back it up so you can see. Again, five foot 10 and a bit. This is where it's, wow, with the socks, I am a vision. So it is hitting like, can you see that? That's sort of where it's hitting. Thing, basically maybe like a half inch above the ankle, which isn't terrible, honestly, because this is like an interesting silhouette kind of a thing. <laughs> I can't get over my legs. They like blend into the rest of the background. However, the sides, like the, the cut, I, mm, I don't think I can get there. Do we need another hot take with low? You know what, we need another hot take with low. Ooh, actually before I do that, I found these sunglasses which are inspired by a very high-end brand and they're hearts, <laughs> they're little hearts. How cute is that? Okay, tell me honestly though, are they adorable or are they dumb? I am honestly trying to figure out where I wear these because like, I kind of don't hate them. I don't hate them, but I just can't think of where I would wear them. <laughs> now let's go show them to low. Haha, <laughs> I actually found a low on my way out to get my low. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello low. So, the dress. Okay, okay. <laughs> I want to know if you have the same thoughts that I do on it. Honesty hour per use? Yeah, obviously. Only and exclusively. I'm upset with this dress. You wanna know why? Because who stops at 93%? This is a 93% dress. 93% and even actually the way you're standing right now, it looks cute, but just the bottom of this dress. It's the side, it's, it's this like it's, weird bell thing. But the shape of it, it's not that the seam is up high because I appreciate what that slit would do, but it's how rounded the hem is that it puts it out. Do you like me like with the pacifier holder? <laughs> <laughs> it takes it out. <laughs> Nap time. So I was trying to figure out like what it would do if it was on someone who's shorter. Cause like I am on the taller side, like would it be better right. if, it, if someone was shorter, like would it sit better? My answer is I don't think so but I had to ask the question. I just think if you look at the actual width of the dress, like there's so much additional width just at that one point that I don't understand how it would flatter anyone, which is such a bummer because the color looks cute on you. I really like the neckline. It looks like it's comfortable, breathable. It looks like a great cotton summer dress. And then the last 7%. It was so close. So I had the same reaction. You put to it, it on and you were like, oh. was so close. And then I was like, oh, it's just like the bottom part. I just, I don't, I feel like you don't need this one. It's so close. It's just, it's not it. Wait though, tell me where I would wear these sunglasses. These are like the um, inspired by, you know, you've oh, seen these. And it's Taylor Swift 22 music video. <laughs> that is exactly where you'd wear them. I don't know about you, but that's where you'd wear 22. them. 22. <laughs> like they're not unflattering. There's just nowhere to wear these other than an Instagram photo. Given the fact that they are novelty shape, they're actually a lot more flattering than they have any right to be. Truly, they should be less flattering. Yeah, I just feel like it depends on your vibe. Like, that's not really your vibe. You're this is not really my vibe. Hippie, flower child, or like cool girl, kitschy stuff. Yeah. You're you, more like, you, a, like a timeless vibe. Oh, you're being way, I was gonna say basic. <laughs> <laughs> they're not unflattering. They just don't suit my style. Right, on the right person, those would be really cute. Real cute. Because those are the easily the cutest shaped heart glasses I've ever seen. Yeah, usually they look really If you were on yikes. vacation for Valentine's Day, adorbs. My channel is Rach Loves. If this was 2015, 
Instagram, oh. Oh. these would be all over that. Rach, you get it, tea. <laughs> oh, the cheesy line what is so the important. Emojis? Okay, well, thank you. I will return this dress, and honestly, you don't need it. Thanks, Lo. Of course, of course. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot a product. And this is again, oh my gosh, I forgot two products. I'm really doing well. The first is a color depositing shampoo. This isn't like a tone correcting or anything like this, but like color depositing. And there are a ton in the category. This one was, I think, number one of the most wished for. And so I bought red because I knew my sister was in the market for a new red one and she kind of plays around in the different red tones. So I bought one for her and she has been doing some thorough work on it. This stuff is so ridiculously popular. Lauren chose the shade. I'll show you what her hair looks like now, which is still very lovely, but she says it's too brown. So she wants, she's excited to try this out. But first we need a before to know. Okay, so this is hair before. It's still like got a red tint to it. I haven't had it like professionally colored in almost a year. I've just been maintaining it on red shampoo. All right, well, let's see what the Ruby does. So I have a bunch of photos and videos, so here we go. So for shampoo, she just followed it by the instructions. Didn't really do much. It gave a little tiny hint of color, not a ton. Next time she applied it the same way she would normally use her regular red toned shampoo and she liked it. It was like a nice ruby kind of a shade and everything, but it was catching in weird spots depending on, like I'll show you the screenshot of our conversation, but it was catching on different spots. So then she went back to her old shampoo and that's what this looks like here. So you can kind of see side by side, like the old shampoo versus the new. She says it's nice, but it doesn't give you the same vibrant shade that she was kind of anticipating. And it could be because her hair has like some new growth in and the other one is like a darker color. Anyway, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, she said it was fine. It was quite drying, but that's to be expected because it's like a color depositing shampoo. I'm literally texting her right now to see which one, which one she likes better. Specifically from like the formula perspective because that's what I'm most interested in because obviously you may have a different shade that intrigues you. Typing, typing. I'm just sitting here waiting. I guess while I'm waiting for the final verdict on that, I'll talk about another product I tried very briefly. And again, I got caught up in this and I've been meaning to try this for a long time because this really blew up, I would say probably in 2020 when everyone was on lockdown. And it's the Miel or Miel, I think it's Miel, Roseberry Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. And this is something that's supposed to be like an oil treatment that you apply to your scalp because rosemary, based off of the videos and things that I've seen, is supposed to help with um, hair growth. However, upon further research, it seems to be only affecting those who are suffering from alopecia and then it's supposed to uh, help your hair grow and it can be quite um clogging especially if you have oily hair like i do so i tried it and i tried to like leave it in for a little bit but then like thoroughly shampoo it out well like i didn't like just leave it on and like go about my whole day you know but i was just noticing a ton of fallout and i just i just have to accept my hair the way it is. My hair is oily. It doesn't need an oil treatment. I just need to leave it alone. Like if you have dry hair or you have thicker, coarser hair, this might be a good option. But for me, not so much. Oh, and I have a verdict. Lauren says she likes hers better, but she thinks it's a strong second choice. I will link both of them for you so you know, and I'll make sure to like highlight which one is Lauren's favorite. She says the new one washes really well and it's really easy to use, which is great. But basically it's used to like, enhance salon color, not to like re-dye your hair, which is kind of how she uses it. So a little bit different. She says it probably works perfectly as a salon color boost. So keep that in mind. Let me see what you've seen on the most wished for list and if there's anything we should be purchasing for the next round of these videos and check out the other ones that we've done on the side here. Big thanks to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. To get 15% off your first kit, go and click the link down below. Again, I hope you love them as much as I do. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.